we're back with the greatness that is Mushoku Tensei. I've been loving season two, and obviously I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now that Paul and Rudy are reunited, are they gonna stick together? I know Rudy plans on taking Eris back home. There's no home to get back to, right? We know we know uh, the, the Boreas family line, they're done for, right? So yeah, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and jump into it and see what is going on. And while we're doing this, just kind of tell you why I haven't been uploading so much. I just been dealing with the whole Dragon Quest uh, copyright strike situation that's been going on. I only have uh, I have two more strikes to deal with. Once those are gone, I should be back to my regular schedule. But I, I might have to uh, change up a little bit. I might have to change up how I do videos a little bit. I still don't know if I should trust this guy. Like, he definitely has helped Rudy, but... Yeah, yeah. I wonder if the God is going to tell him. That would be really good, right? That'll be really easy. Oh, what is going on here? I I don't know if I I, I just wouldn't trust this dude, man. I'm sorry. What is he gonna tell him? Is he actually gonna tell him where everybody's located? Oh, he actually is. What is he talking about? Oh! That, isn't that the place where Roxy is at? But of course, Roxy is not there right now because, you know, she's in the demon continent looking for Rudy. Oh, that also part of the plan. See, like, like I know that that what well, he's the human god, right? I know he's helping Rudy a lot. I mean, he has helped him a lot. That that cannot be argued. But I feel like he definitely has like another motive in there. Like I feel like he's gonna like do something that's, that's gonna be like a huge mistake later down the line. What country is this? The central continent, okay. It definitely has looks like a like an ancient style uh country, right? Like the buildings reminds me of like old style like Chinese, Japanese buildings kinda. Are they 
damn they didn't they didn't stay there for long did they they just <laughs> they just went they just kept going Ooh. rice i know rudy knows all about that rice That's like a like a little taste from home. Is this the palace that he was supposed to go to in Shirone Kingdom or whatever? Oh, damn. Yep, there they are. Okay, so they're about to rescue uh, Lilia and uh, his sister. I mean... Oh, if if she was there, probably, but she's looking out. For, she's looking for you. Yep, Ares <laughs> doesn't know about that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in this world communicating with the god directly is probably not something very common, right? Who is this? Is that is that her? Is that Aisha? That's following him? Oh, 100% Rudy knows that he's being followed. Yeah, that is that is Aisha. Look at the hair color. Oh, those there are the soldiers. Nice. Oh, what happened? Is that is that the dream that he had? That is the dream, yeah. Oh. That's a good question.
I wonder I wonder if Lelia and uh and Aisha are being held against their will. He said, could you be? I'm guessing he was gonna refer to like could you be Rudeus? Like Roxy maybe talked about him when uh when she was there. Ah, yo, he's doing some crazy magic. That was awesome. I mean, her mother probably taught her very well. Okay, then. He's, he's doing what the God told him to do. Got it. Got it. So that's why the letter is so important. Yeah. 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 I mean, she has a point. Let's be real. She has a point. So it seems like they're being held against their will. Damn. <laughs> I wonder why she said that. Uh, isn't that the treasure box that, you know, underwear? Yep, there it is. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so she is smart. Yo, Rudy's being put on blast right now. Damn. Damn, he is. It is 100% he is a pervert. And damn. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So hey, if whether you trust the man God or not, he had the right information. So I, I guess he's like uh uh omniscient. He knows how everything is gonna turn out. I mean, I guess this is a good way to uh, to win your sister over in a little way, I guess. I wonder how long that's going to take. Come on now, Eris, you got to get with the program. Pervert, pervert. That's that's a pervert move right there.
Uh, Roxy ain't going to reply. Yeah, Roxy ain't gonna get that letter in and never. I don't think Roxy is gonna be returning to the castle anytime soon, right? What does she have? Does she have Aisha's hair in her mouth? How do they know that? But we know Roxy is not in the castle. Oh my, he is, this is a trap. Tell, tell them where you're going. You're about to be taken hostage. <laughs> There's going to be signs of trouble. Because we know that Roxy is not there, so he's being lied to. Come on now, Eris. Come on, you forgot already? And that castle looks awesome. Yeah, I feel like maybe the uh, the prince that Roxy was teaching probably got a little bit jealous, and that's why he's doing all of this. But hey, this is a good opportunity. He might be able to like rescue uh, let L Lilia and and get out. She's serious. Why? I mean, come on now, Rudy. You should know better. This is straight up a trap. Yep, not Roxy. Yo, is that Lilia right there on the ground? So this dude is, is definitely kind of evil. And he looks like a dork too. Yo, that's messed up. Oh, damn. Yeah, but, like we all knew that was a trap. Come on now. I mean, he can get out of that really easily though, right? Oh, that's a magic circle. So he probably won't be able to cast magic, right? Oh, damn. Yeah, he done for. He won't be able to get out of this easily. Damn. Yep. To capture Roxy. This dude is just full of it.
Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. No, he he. <laughs> he would definitely dare. Let's be real. Rudy would definitely dare. Yo, this dude needs to go. Five? Damn. Bro, what is this dude saying? What is it do saying? He didn't think that one through, huh? This dude is going to get a rude awakening. Damn, all right, so now we know why all the soldiers are kind of like, you know, they're kind of putting that long face. Because, you know, this prince is something else. This dude is, he needs to go. Yeah, yeah, he's doubting the God. He's doubting the God. Because no matter how you look at it, let's be real. Yeah, he found, uh, do we have an after credit scene? It, it seems like we do, right? Or is this just the, how, how much of the thing is? Okay, this is long. All right, but that was episode 19. But yeah, as I was saying, he, you know, the God definitely did give him correct information, right? He did tell him, you know, technically where Lilia and Aisha were, where they're at. But what he did not tell him is that he was going to get in, in this kind of trouble, right? Uh, because you can just tell the prince talking about, you know, what he was going to do to Roxy, that he was going to behead freaking uh, Rudy. And, you know, the way he has Aisha, uh, you know, all tied up and he's looking, I mean, not Aisha, Lilia, and he's looking for Aisha. You know, th this prince, not good. And on top of that, we have seen in like a season one, whenever Roxy was sending letters to Rudy, to Rudy, we see how evil and perverted and crazy this prince is. So, uh, yeah, he needs to go. And now I also understand that Rudy... You know, he's a little pervert too, but at the very least, Rudy knows a little bit of boundaries, right? A little bit less than this prince, because we know Rudy would never, you know, go and force himself uh, on somebody. At the very least, I hope that Rudy wouldn't. Uh, as far as we've seen, he hasn't done it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, this prince, even though he's probably reincarnated too, right? Because, I mean, let's be real. The parallels with Rudy with the perverted level is a little, it's a little too, uh, like too alike. Uh, he's just a little bit, I guess since he's a prince, you know, he can get away with it, right? There's no, probably no laws that could tell him how he couldn't do anything. Right. He's one of those spoiled little kids that, you know, since he's the prince, he thinks the law ain't going to apply to him. And maybe this is where he's going to get a rude awakening. Maybe this is where, you know, cause let's, let's be real, right? Rudy, he's very strong. And then of course they got Ruger over there, right? What is Ruger going to do? Because we know Ruger, he's probably one of the strongest people over in this world. Uh, I mean, I know there are the, like the seven warriors and, you know, Ruger's name doesn't compare to those. But still, I feel like Ruger, he can definitely topple the Shidone kingdom by himself, right? Like he can probably mess that kingdom up if he chose uh, to rescue Rudy and, and go like, you know, kill everybody route. Uh, but I don't think it's going to get that far, right? Like, let's be real. I mean, I don't think they're going to completely destroy this kingdom just to get Lilia and Aisha out. I feel 
feel like they're going to deal with the prince in some type of way i don't know exactly how maybe it'll be like an assassination attempt who knows but i would definitely love for this dude to go away overall this episode i mean nothing really too big happened like yes we got to see lilia and we got to see aisha and of course that's great because let's be real paul has been looking for them for a very long time and you know all of a sudden rudy knows exactly where they're at because of the little man god which again i still do not trust that dude i don't know why i feel like he's definitely trying to give rudy information for him to trust him and then when he gets to that point he's gonna tell him to go do this thing rudy's going to trust him and he's probably gonna do something big that's gonna is going to cause like a war or it's going to do something i don't know but i do not trust that man god okay i don't know something about him something about the way he acts and stuff like that is a no-go for me but overall this episode it was good nothing like i mean crazy happened uh, i i really just can't wait to see how rudy is going to escape this one they did say that the barrier was a king level barrier so maybe rudy because he's smart he might find a way to break out of it and you know that that would be awesome because that means you know I will, uh, at the very least rudy's gonna be comparable to some uh king level magic right so yeah overall good episode like mushoko tensei always delivers uh i can't wait for the next one let me know what you thought of this episode and like always make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode peace out boom